Hi, it's Bartosz from Aviatek Flight Simulators. Today I would like to show you how to use our products with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, as you can see in the background, uh, because we've been actually supporting this platform for quite a while, almost from the beginning, and so I thought that we probably should show you how to do it. So let's do it. So the first thing you have to do, you have to go to aviatech.com, then under support section, you will find the latest version of Aviatech Connector. Just click download and then perform the installation. Yes, accept, next, 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 install. It will ask you if you want to launch the Aviatech Connector right now, so let's do it. Click finish. And the first time it opens, it will inform you that you need to install the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 plugin in order to make it compatible. So let's do it. We click Install Plugin. And that's it. You're ready to go. With this version of Aviatech Connector, you don't need to do any extra configuration, uh, at least for the most of the most popular aircrafts. So we can minimize it and we can start the flight simulator. So now we have the Microsoft Flight Simulator running. Uh, so let's start a flight. We go to the warm up, choose your aircraft. Diamond is fine. Select the departure airport, so we're going to go locally. Let's fly from Sabare and click Fly. It will take a few moments to load the flight. Fortunately, with the latest update of Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's actually pretty fast in loading times. So we should be ready to go in a second. Okay, ready to fly. So now, unfortunately, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, there is one procedure that we have to do each time we start a flight, and this is popping out the uh, PFD and MFD screens. In order to do that, you have to press the right Alt key on your keyboard and hold it down. And when you roll over on your PFD, you will see a magnifying glass icon. So click it, and now we have the PFD. Now we repeat the same thing for the MFD. And now you will see that both of them are together and we don't want that. We want each window separately. So we have to click on the magnifying glass icon here or the, either on the PFD or MFD, it doesn't really matter. So let's do it. So now we have two separate screens. So we just have to drag the PFD to your PFD screen and click Alt Enter to go full screen. And then the same thing for the MFD. Alt Enter. And now we are ready to go. So as you can see, for example, we can change the parameter, we can use the autopilot, everything is connected and interfaced. So maybe we can do a takeoff. So let's use the heading mode. Let's click it to set it to the runway heading. Let's set our altitude to let's say 2000 feet. And maybe we'll use the vertical speed as a climb mode, initially 500 feet per minute. Release the parking brake, and we are ready to go. So we have the airspeed alive, 50 knots, 60 knots, and take off. So let's engage the autopilot. And now the aircraft flies on its own. So we can change the heading mode using the GMC 710 or the screen or your MFD. Everything's functional and ready to go. So as you can see, it's very easy to use. The only thing is the procedure of popping out the windows each time you start a flight, but actually when you get hang of it, it's actually very uh, very easy to do and you do it very quickly so yeah so just to, just to show you that it's all compatible with Microsoft Flight Simulator and it was actually compatible for quite some while so as you can see it's very easy to use and very straightforward uh, after installing the Vertex connector just start the sim and then pop up the windows each time you start a flight pretty straightforward and I hope you enjoyed it and happy flying mm -hmm.